like more. I am smiling so much for SUNY Lee right now. Yeah. Uh, St. Paul has another hometown hero, someone other than Poppy Harlow. Oh, without the greatest no, no, of no. all time, <laughs> uh, without the GOAT competing, Poppy, it was wide open. And it was 18-year-old Suni Lee stepping up on the, on the sports' biggest stage. And she captured that gold after she and her family have been through so much. Suni Lee missed two months in 2020 with a broken bone in her foot, two months with an Achilles injury. She lost her aunt and uncle due to COVID. She said she felt like quitting at times, Poppy, but she persevered and it all came down to the floor routine today here in Tokyo. She needed to score a 13.467. She rocked a 13.7. It would hold for the gold. Lee started gymnastics when she was six years old. She grew up one of five kids in St. Paul, Minnesota, raised by her parents, Yves and John, both immigrants from Laos. Her dad built her a beam in the backyard out of wood because they couldn't afford a real one, Poppy. The beam is there to this day. She calls her dad her best friend and the reason she does it all. In 2019, John Lee fell while helping a neighbor trim a tree. He was paralyzed from the chest down. He's hardly been able to see his daughter compete ever since that injury. So you can imagine Poppy back in your home state, your hometown, the emotion when <laughs> Lee's family saw what had just happened. When those results came in, you can't imagine what this family has been through. We can only imagine, right? Well, Bobby, I was there tonight for this event and I, and I did see the defending all around Olympic champ, Simone Biles there in the stands. She was at the edge of her seat at times. She could barely sit still. She was cheering on the one who would eventually take her crown. It is Suni Lee's moment. She's keeping a dominant run alive. American women have now won five straight Olympic all around titles. All right, we have some great news in the pool for the Team USA as t today as well. Kate